what is HER2 positive breast cancer and why is it important that you know your status? Well, most breast cancer patients know three things about their tumor. The first is what is their stage? The second is whether or not they are hormone receptor positive or ERP or positive. And the third is whether or not they're HER2 positive. Now, the first one, your stage, helps us determine how aggressive to be with your treatment. Sometimes it determines whether or not you get chemotherapy, and it can determine what kind of surgery you get. The second one, ERPR status or hormone status, determines whether or not you get anti-hormone therapy for a number of years as part of your treatment. And the third one, HER2, helps us to determine whether or not you get specific targeted therapy against the HER2 receptor protein. So exactly what is HER2? Well, HER2 is what we call an oncogene. And oncogenes can promote the development of cancer or make some cancers more aggressive. And in the case of the HER2 oncogene, it makes a protein that sits on the surface of breast cells. And this protein is on the surface of all normal breast cells, and it helps with the normal maturation and development of breast cells. The problem comes in when we have a breast cancer cells that, that is positive for an overexpression of the HER2 oncogene. It makes too much of this receptor protein, and there are too many HER2 receptors sitting on the surface of the cell. And when this happens, it makes the breast cancer cell more aggressive and more likely to spread. That's the bad news. The good news is that we have very specific targeted therapies that are directed just at this receptor protein that block the signaling from the receptor that makes the breast cancer cell more aggressive. So how do you know whether or not you have HER2 positive breast cancer? Well, every invasive breast cancer should be tested for HER2. And the way that that happens is that a pathologist will stain your breast cancer cells for the HER2 receptor. And then the pathologist will look at it under a microscope and determine if there is zero to one plus, two plus, or three plus staining. Zero to one plus means that it's negative. Three plus means that it's positive. And if you happen to be lucky enough to be stuck there in the middle with two plus, that's indeterminate and you need another test. And that test is usually something called FISH or fluorescence in situ hybridization. The cool thing about FISH is that pathologists actually get to look at the number of copies of the HER2 oncogene and determine if it's overexpressed or not. So if you are HER2 positive, then you need specific therapy. You need therapy targeted against that HER2 receptor. And in most breast cancer patients, this is going to mean a year of a medicine called Herceptin, and the other name for it is Trastuzumab. Now, if you have more aggressive cancer, if you're younger, you may also get another medicine that's an anti-HER2 therapy called Pergetta or Pertuzumab. Those two are very commonly given for HER2 positive breast cancers. Now, there are other anti-HER2 medications. These are Neratinib, Lapatinib, and Cadcycla, at least today, that's what is available. And other cancer types can express HER2. So you may see those drugs used in other cancers, but you may also see them used if the breast cancer recurs or in metastatic breast cancer. Those are also commonly used. So what can we say about HER2 positivity and why is it important that you know? Well, HER2 positivity means that you have an overexpression of the HER2 oncogene. That means that it makes too many receptor proteins that sit on the surface of the breast cancer cell and make it more aggressive. But it means that you need specific targeted therapy against that HER2 receptor. And as long as you get that, then your prognosis is probably just as good as someone who did not have HER2 receptor positivity. And all breast cancer cells 
all invasive breast cancers should be tested for the HER2 receptor to see if you need this specific therapy. And so that's what HER2 is, and that's why it's so important that you know your status. For more information on breast cancer, its treatment, and especially its recovery, knowing what to eat, what, how much exercise to do, and how to relax, please go to my website, lisaschwartzmd.com, for more information. Thanks.